ChatGPT is evolving day by day. There are many updates ChatGPT has brought in order to make users' experience better and much wider. Along with the plugin store, where ChatGPT lets us access information from the third-party sites, ChatGPT presents us with the Bing feature as well, where ChatGPT uses Bing as a plugin and lets us browse with Bing. The developers have integrated the browsing feature currently in beta for paid users more deeply with Bing. We can now click into queries that the model is performing. Developers say that they look forward into expanding the integration soon. For example, you can see right here in the screen that I have asked ChatGPT to tell me the time about New Delhi. But as we all know that, ChatGPT cannot access the more latest information. So what it does is ChatGPT browses in the Bing search engine and gives us the result. You can see the number right here in the green one, right? If you click on it, it leads us to the website from where it extracted the information. Another amazing update ChatGPT has brought for itself is where you can share links. This feature allows you to create and share the ChatGPT conversation with others. Recipient of your share link can either view the conversation or copy it to their own chats using the thread. This feature is currently rolling out to a small set of testers in alpha with plans to expand to all users in the upcoming weeks. In order to use the share update, what you can simply do is click on the thread of the chat that you just created and simply click on this button right here, the share button. If you click on it, then the pop-up will appear as shown. Then what you can simply do is copy the link and after you've copied the link, you can either go to Gmail or even in WhatsApp, Messenger, any social media and simply paste the link in the social media where the recipient will be able to access your link and can provide the same prompt to chat GPT and obtain the same result that you had obtained. There are many other amazing features on ChatGPT as well. ChatGPT app is now available for iOS in many countries. Just go to your app store in the iPhone and get the ChatGPT app. Another update that ChatGPT recently introduced is that ChatGPT allows you to disable chat history in iOS. Conversations started on your device where chat history is disabled won't be used to improve their models, won't appear in your history or your other devices as well, and will only be stored for 30 days. So it's pretty much similar to the functionality on the web. And developers have also said that soon the share feature will also be introduced for iOS as well, where people People can share the chat thread among each other. So AI is evolving day by day, surpassing the strongest of search engines. These were some of the updates ChatGPT has released and many awesome updates and features are yet to be introduced. So that's it for today. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Stay updated. Thank you very much.